absolutely. So there's five, there's five main um, different returns that I'm going to go over really briefly. I'll share my screen. If I don't, it's like giving you a haircut over the phone. It just doesn't work. So what we're going to do is there's, so there's five different um, return on investments with an investment property really briefly. I promise to be brief. Um, my name is Johnny, local broker, top producer, chairman of the education committee here at the local association of realtors twice, real estate event coordinator. Um, I'm a father. I got a two and a half year old and a one month old at home. And um, I've been a husband to my beautiful wife of 11 years. And what's interesting about my, my real estate journey is that we changed markets three times our first four years in real estate. So, but luckily we were able to become voted the best real estate team in Roseville the last three years in a row. Mm -hmm. And we are the most Google reviewed team in the Sacramento region. So just a little bit about me before I jump into the nuts and bolts of those five different um, ROIs. So let's just say you're, you're buying a property and a typical home. Let's say the purchase price is $500,000. Try to keep the numbers here simple, very wildly, but let's just keep the numbers basic. $500,000 purchase price, 20% down. That means you're putting $100,000 down on the home. So what does that look like? Well, the first way that you get a return on that investment is obviously cash flow. We've all heard about that. The most basic equation is income minus expenses, and there you have some cash flow. So let's say you're only making after everything's been paid for. $100 a month. It's really, really skinny. Okay. Well, that first year, $100 a month times 12, it's going to be $1,200 that first year. And if you put a hundred grand down on that home, that's roughly a 1.2% return that first year on that $100,000. The second way you'll make some money is with the principal pay down. So let's say your mortgage, like just the mortgage, not the the taxes and the insurance and all that. Let's just say your mortgage, so your principal and interest is about $2,000 a month, okay? Times that by 12, that's $24,000 a year. And let's say for that first year, you're paying roughly 30% in principal. Most of it's going towards interest. So that in that first year, 30% of it, let's say, is going towards principal. That means in that first year, your tenant paid down, um, gave you, paid down $7,200 of that of that loan balance and if you times that by your um your tax bracket that's about twenty five hundred dollars on year one so principal pay down that your tenant paid down on that mortgage balance again based off that hundred thousand dollar initial investment is 2.5 percent and then of course there's the interest deduction on a, on a real estate home most people just focus on cash flow but there's so much more to it than just the cash flow so with the interest deduction, same mortgage payment, but this time about 70% of it's going towards interest in year one. So that's about $16,800 times that by your tax bracket. That's almost $6,000. So year one, just with the interest deduction at a 35% tax bracket, you are seeing about a 5.8% return all of your cash invested. And then... But wait, there's oh, more. But wait, there's more. So we're just, that's the first three. And then there's the fourth one. So that's depreciation. So it's the tax benefit. It's a paper loss on residential properties. It's depreciated over 27 and a half years. And that's only on the improvements of the property. So let's say that's 80% of the cost. So if, again, if you bought the home for $500,000, let's say 20% of that or 100 grand of that is for the land. That still leaves you with $400,000 that you can then depreciate over 27 and a half years. So how the number works out on that is essentially it's a 5% return on the depreciation that you get to claim for the next you know, 27 and a half years. So right there on those first four, this is without appreciation. Without appreciation, you get 1.2% on cash flow, 2.5% on the principal pay down that your tenants are paying, 5.8% interest deduction, and a 5% depreciation of the property, year one, that's 14.5% return of that initial $100,000 investment. It's pretty stellar. Um, and so if you're thinking, hey, I'm, am I too old to get started in real estate? Is it uh, is this more of like something I should have started doing 30 years ago? You know, like the, the old proverb, when's the best time to plant a tree? You know, 30 years ago, when's the second best time right now? Right now is still a good time for you to get involved in real estate. And then pass that on to your family. 
You know, I deal with a lot of kids who are inheriting real estate and then we're able to to uh, help them with that transition and send them over to property manager. So the last and final thing is, of course, appreciation. Recently, appreciation has been crazy, more to the tune of about 12 percent. But let's just say it was, you know, for conservative numbers, 6 percent. This is basically hedging against inflation. So there's that. I have this um this joke with my wife. When we first started dating, she's like, you don't know how much anything costs. And I'm like, yeah, sure I do. She's like, how much are eggs? And I said, I don't know, $12 for a dozen. I have no idea. A buck and egg sounds fair to me. And she's like, oh my gosh, you're horrible. So if there was a show called The Price is Wrong, I would absolutely win. But unfortunately, with uh, inflation, the price of eggs has gone up significantly. And so what, what real estate does is it hedges against the inflation you know, the powers of, you know, inflation and for, that, that we experience. So let's just say again, 6% return, roughly, again, this is just only realized when you sell or when you use one of the strategies that Tom um, talked about. But if you add that all up together, year one, let's just say you had that 6% appreciation the first year, that's over 20% of your cash, uh, cash on cash return. Granted, some of these are paper, but it, I mean, isn't this incredible? Most people don't realize all the different ways that you can, they just think about cash flow and they think, okay, appreciation, maybe someday I can't bank on that. But and that's why I broke it down to where it's just 14 and a half percent the first year without appreciation. So there's that. So key takeaways, it's not too late to start investing in real estate and it's not too early to start investing in real estate. So um, any questions for me on those, on those five key ones? Yeah, let's